Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This episode, Kong Rong beats the gong, hopefully, as Gong Sun Zan has decided to declare war on us or to join their allies in war against us. I don't even remember which it was, but one way or another, treachery. Treachery, treachery, treachery is what I dub it. I am very annoyed at uh, this turn of events, but it's okay. We'll make quick work of it. Like I said, we're gonna... It's gonna be it's gonna be Kong Rong on the Gong, right? Uh, that's got to be the title of this episode. Uh, hopefully, we get to that. Right now, it's the Gong trying to beat Kong Rong, actually, as he's sending a couple of armies down south to uh, perhaps take or try to take Bohai. We will stand and fight. We've raised an army. We've got the garrison here as well. We will stand and fight, but against two full stacks, it might prove a bit of a challenge. Meanwhile, over here, we've got the uh, Zheng Jiang eagerly awaiting her attack on the toolmaker at Taiyuan, and uh, we also have uh, Ma Dai waiting to move in against this army from Zheng Jian. Uh, up north, meanwhile, we are hopefully going to send these troops to provide reinforcements after they're done with uh, with this situation, while down south over here, Kong Rong has to uh, help again against this rebellion this time around, eliminate that rebellion, and then he'll be free to move. Now, it was suggested in the comments, and I do like the suggestion, that perhaps we move, we continue our move towards uh, the kingdom of Shu Han's seat, as it were. Runan is right there, Kong Rong is right here, and uh, down over here we have Lu Su marching around as well, able to move up and take the livestock farm at uh, Jiangling, which might be the better call over here. So Lu Su starts to move up in this direction, Kong Rong continues the war down here, tries to finish it off, while up north we have Ma Dai and Zheng Jiang holding on for dear life as up over here, uh, Kan Xiao Xiao, as I'm guessing how that's pronounced, will try and buy us some time. I'm a little nervous about this. Now, on the topic of things that were mentioned in the comments, uh, do make sure that if you would like to see the series continue, and perhaps more importantly, again at this stage, uh, would like to see more Total War Three Kingdoms on the channel, uh, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. As I've said before, it makes a big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Many of you seem to be interested in Ma Tang, many others seem interested in Gong Sun Zen. And in all honesty, I am cool with either. I just want to see what you guys are feeling like. And uh, I am a little, I, I will mention this as well, it's a little unfortunate that this episode, or this series, sorry, has become so wide. I was hoping for a tall campaign, but we had that war with Yen Xiao that we got kind of dragged into because I wanted to help an ally. And then Yan Xia was going around vassalizing everybody, so I had to counter vassalize. We had Sun Jian, Ma Tang declared independence, so then I got scared about Sun Jian. We annexed him, and all of a sudden, everything's over. It's a wide campaign, uh, which is quite unfortunate, but I feel like it was going there anyway. And now we are a treacherous Kong Rong who's trying his best to uh, to make his 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 Kongdom come together. God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> um, uh, I will say as well, in terms of upgrading my copper mines to reduce corruption, I actually cannot do that everywhere. I need to get a reform first. Um, and that reform is uh, is this one over here. Sorry, no. Hold on. So, Jian Yi's copper mine is the only one where I could get it, and that's because of a loophole where I had this, it already had this structure, and I just had to upgrade it. Uh, whereas, if we go back to the copper mine at Hedong, you'll see that I cannot upgrade because I need a reform. And if we take a look at the reform, I should be able to get that in two turns uh, because it is shaft mining that I need. So, you know what? I'm going to do that. And yes, I hear you guys, uh, corruption is a big problem, and that's exactly why I would do this, is to reduce corruption uh, as soon as possible. We can actually also get, uh, you know, I could convert this for corruption reduction in the adjacent commanderies. What I actually want to do is up over here at Pingyan, I want to upgrade this like so. Very expensive, take a lot of turns, but it reduces corruption by 10% and it gives us income from industry. A worthwhile investment, I think, because Bohai, should we manage to keep it, uh, is losing money to 67% corruption. Same thing with Anping, 67% corruption, um, and then debt. Right? Yeah, and then down over here, 67% corruption. So that's a lot of money being lost to corruption. And uh, if we just get even even a 10% reduction, that'll be quite helpful. Meanwhile, at Dong as well, we are upgrading this to level 7 so that we can build uh, these upgrades to reduce corruption as well, and then eventually corruption adjacent provinces. And then uh, copper mines, again, we'll, we'll want to try and upgrade. And yes, Lady Wu, who is currently returning from an assignment, is uh, is able to counteract corruption so we're definitely going to get that going and i think uh i wonder if she has she just gets assignments she's not an administrator because what i'd like to do is actually send her down to 
Jianyi. The, 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 the commandery of Jianyi is suffering from 67% corruption, and it makes us 2.8k gross income, while Changsha, where she was deployed earlier, only makes us uh, 2.9. Oh, wait. That's weird. Oh, okay, okay. When I was looking at this earlier, I could have sworn it was the other way around. That's very strange. Unless there was an update that changed some of the math. Either way, okay, you know what? We're going to keep her at Changsha then. The other thing, though, is that at Jianyi, we can upgrade our brine spring to a salt pond, uh, which increases our income a lot. Would affect the uh, the output from corruption, but that's that's quite a ways away. All right, let's not worry our heads about that. So Lady Wu will go down to Changsha, but that's, I don't even know if we're going to get to that this session. There's going to be so much fighting. It's going to take up so much time. We also have all these rebellions that need to be crushed. And with the money we have left, I wonder if we just kind of hang on to it uh, rather than spend it somewhere just for the sake of spending money. There are some upgrades I'd like to do, but this is the big one, I think. It'll take some time. We might be able to rush it. Not next turn. We might be able to rush it soon, though. Maybe. Maybe. Down over here. More income. Two turns. 1100 spent. I'd be worth it. Plus 75% income from commerce, plus 15% from industry. Yeah, let's do it. Coupled with the corruption reduction that's going to come in, you know, four turns after this is done, that would be quite helpful. We have no money right now, but it's okay. The battles we fight will make us some cash. So let's go ahead and start with Deng Jiang and uh, and her assault on the toolmaker at Tai Yuan. And I do believe that we have to fight this one. Decisive victory, but medium predicted casualties. That is that is not okay. We we need to uh, we need we, uh, we need momentum. We need to fight this. All right. Should be a pretty easy battle, I think. Uh, we've got a couple of towers that we'll take out over here, perhaps. Take these towers out and then move in towards the town center, as it were. Conquer that. Capture that. No big problems. No need to get too tricky over here. So yeah, let's get to it. Set up for that. Uh, also, it was mentioned in the comments that I tend to keep my uh, strategists way too far behind to actually make a difference. Uh, and yes, I know. It's just that I've got it in my head that they're not supposed to fight. And so I keep them as far away from the fighting as possible, basically. Maybe not the best thing to do, but uh, you know what? It works out well enough. It works out well enough. Uh, just gonna form some big lines over here, I guess. We'll move them all up. Our archers will line up over here. We'll get our uh, cavalry which consists of you lot over here. Is that all of our cav? Yes. All right, so what we'll do is we'll destroy these towers, then we'll creep up, because once these towers are gone, we should see a massive blind spot. Ah-ish uh, here. Well, we'll destroy these towers as well. And then we'll move up, keep the spears at the ready, and then the archers and, and crossbows and all will be able to fire away. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Silly me. There we go. I'm so glad that we have the range that we have now as well. So glad that we have that range. Okay. I think this is good enough. Let's go ahead and push you forward by a little bit. Set you a little apart. And uh, I think we're good to start. I didn't need to keep him that far away from the fighting. <laughs> uh, whoops. Alright, we're good to start. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Fiery shots up over here. Take these towers out right away. And now there's a... Ooh, excuse me. What are you firing at? What are you able to fire at? Oh, you can actually fire at these soldiers over here. Okay, well, let's pull you back. It's okay, these towers aren't going to last very long. I mean, this one's already taken a lot of damage. We need more fire damage to be caused over here, because I just want to... There we go. Just want to set them alight, and then we can uh, focus elsewhere. Now, what's funny is these guys are actually not pushing forward like they used to. I'm guessing they changed that in a patch or something. Change behavior so they don't just sally forth without any real reason. That's okay. And we're firing away. Give me some good hits, come on. Give you a nice tracking shot. You know what? Pretty happy with that. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Let's keep it coming. You guys are going to fire here next. This one's on fire. What's up with this one? Oh, this one's already destroyed. Oh, okay. Um, I can fire over here. You're firing down over here. Is this uh, lighting up yet? Nope. I don't know what that was trying to hit. Right over here. Okay, good hits. Almost got this. We're just going to destroy it. We're not even going to set it on fire, are we? <laughs> Come on. 
have a method to this madness. Let's try and follow that method, please. Wow, really? And yes, we I think we did just destroy that completely. Alright, we'll fire at this one next. And you continue to fire down here, and I'd rather you actually hit our target rather than these towers, please. Come on. You've got clear shots. Kind of. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now up over here, what's going on? Lots of damage dealt. Okay, good stuff. I wonder if... No, we can't move forward just yet. Alright, decent hits. Oh my god, beautiful hits down here. These guys are getting scared off as well. Alright, ooh, looks like they're pouring out. Fair enough. So be it. March up. Yep, they're they're coming on out. Let's get one more volley up there, please. Now let's focus over here. Big old clumps coming towards us. Our archers will be ready to fire soon as well. Oh. They're coming through this way. Not for very long. Oh my god, look at those hits. Here come the archers' shots as well. Let's go ahead and focus on the cavalry, please. Stop these guys. Turn you around this way. Fire over here. Fire up there. Alright, in we go. Pull you back. Pull you back. Get you out of there as well. Oh, here they come for their suicide charges. Also, yeah, suicide charges is something that's been in Total War games forever. And it's uh, quite disappointing that it's still around. Oh, good hits up there. Pull you back up there. Success looms large, you bet it does. Oh, these guys have given up. They're they're falling apart. This battle's over. Just give up. Hold your fire. Dive you in here. Hold your fire. Let's not get any friendly fire, please. Go. Go. Get you in here, I guess. And who's left? Is anybody actually left? Oh, they might have somebody in reserves up over there, I suppose. Yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, nope. Guess not. There's the victory. There's the victory. Nice and easy. Hopefully we didn't lose too many individuals. Might have lost a handful. Maybe like 200. Oh. Less than. Maybe like 100. Oh, that was some of the slowest math I've ever done. Just short of 100. You know what? Pretty close. All right. That's good. We're going to occupy it. I don't think we need to loot and occupy. I'd like to keep it upgraded. I'd like the faction support as well, so we're not dealing with rebellions and stuff. Plus, I'm about to take the town of Taiyuan as well, uh, so it's probably a good idea to uh, actually treat it like a proper commandery of ours. Let's go ahead and occupy. Gain some ancillaries as well. Oh, that's interesting. I've noticed that. Professionals, Raymond, extra expertise. Don't think that's anything I need to equip. All right. So you're done over here. Taiyuan is ours. We're making some good money over here. Oh yeah, we're making some good money off of this thing. Yeah, I think I'm fine with what it is right now. Okay, so that's that taken care of. Down over here. Ma Dai, are you ready to move up and attack this army? Lots of archers. Uh, but we got a lot of cavalry. It shouldn't be a problem. I would have liked to wait and replenish a bit more, but I do think we need to be aggressive over here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and be aggressive. Let's make sure we attack the right person. Go. I don't need to drag this guy into the war. I was tempted to bring the Kingdom of Wei into the into the war as well to get their assistance here, but I don't think I need it. Oh yeah, I don't have night battles with this army, right? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. That's fine. Let's begin. Alright. Let's see, what do we got here? Everything's got Vanguard deployment, which is rather excellent, actually. Because I don't have archers, so I do want to close the gap with this army. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Spears. Over here. Moving in towards those, uh, well, we could do spears like this, right? We do not have formations either, that's the unfortunate part. 
uh, all of our cavalry. We should be able to overpower theirs. Right? We can come in from here. I don't want to deploy too far away. I'd rather deploy close to the front over here. Go ahead and get you lot over here. All right, we'll try and avoid their uh, their cavalry as best as possible. Over here, we'll have an easier time of it. Punch through these lines over here. Hopefully, they won't be able to brace. And let's go ahead and get our swords over here. Again, we should make quick work of these guys. Our axes. Right behind them. Literally just going to rush forward right away and uh, and try to stomp these guys as quickly as possible. Want to get them, want to leave them with minimal shooting time, basically. Go ahead and set you up as a group and set you up as a group as well. We have no archers, so might as well use three and four. You'll be three. You'll be four. Yep. Cool. So used to having three as my archers, though. Okay, here we go, folks. Try to make this a quick one. Try to make this a successful one. I could try and pin the cavalry with my cavalry and then move my spears in. Also an option. We'll see how it, we'll see how it plays out. Let's go. Send you up that way. Send you this way. Send you this way. Send you there. Oh, they're, they're actually standing their ground for quite a bit. These uh, crossbows. I get their shots in over here. Okay, eating a charge here. Fair enough. And you guys behind. In we go. In we go. To pull back basically right away. Pull back. Let's go. Trying to hold these lines in place basically. So that we can get our hammer and anvil going. Let's go. Alright. This guy's trying to get away. Not for. Pull you back. Let's go. Get a rear charge here. A rear charge here. Alright. In we come. In we go. Alright. Good charges. Good charges. Pull you back right away. Pull you back right away. In we go. Beautiful charges back here. That should cause a fair bit of damage to these guys. Yep. The game was predicting a defeat. Come on, game. Come on. And we need to make sure we cause as much damage here as possible. Because these guys will uh, otherwise cause us trouble. Yeah, these horses are going down. Cavalry up there is doing well. Destroy this guy. Bring you around, pull you in here. Pull you back. Go chase him down, chase him down. Pull you back, gotta get some charges coming through. Alright, pull you back, there's spears there. Doing good there. Turn you around. Get you back in here. Pull you up there. Alright, doing well, doing well. Ah, these guys are getting away from me. Bring you down here. Bring you over here. Actually, maybe hit those crossbows real quick. Bring you back there. How are we feeling? Pull you back. We're okay up there. Let's pull you guys over here. Pull you over here. Try and get a rear charge over here. That'll do a lot of work for us. Pull you guys back. I think we've pretty much destroyed those units. Let's go. These guys are not having fun. Let's pull you back. Hopefully we're okay over here. I think we're fine. Come in here with some charges. Send you through there. And you through there. In we go. Oh yeah, good charges. Good charges. Pull these guys back basically right away. Away we go. Send you in here. Send you in here. Oh no, no, no. What have I done here? Oh, I took a big risk there. I just left those guys against the spears. Oh, I'm going to pay the price for that. I'm going to pay the price for that real hard. Put you back. Put you back in here. Okay, you're good there. Send you through. These guys are not having a good time. Pull you up this way. Harass that guy. Let's get a rear charge over here. Move you over here. Pull you up this way. Alright, we've, we've caused a lot of damage to this army, which is good. Is it enough damage? I don't know. That, I do not know. Definitely feels pretty good, though. Send you down here. Get that charge in. Pull you back this way. Okay, good charge, good charge. Pull you over here. Pull you back. Oh, we took a bad hit there. 
Send you in. How are we feeling? Feeling okay, feeling okay. Let's get a charge down here. Chasing those guys off with their axes. That's hilarious. Spears coming down over here. You guys are not having fun. Let's go. Okay, pull over to this side. Pull over to this side. Trying to hold him in place, basically. There we go. Send you down, pull you away. We can get a charge over here, a nice clean charge, then these guys will break. Come on. There we go, give up on the fight. Excellent, there's the victory, but that's not good enough. I took way too much of a beating. I was really not careful enough that, that battle. Go stay on top of this guy. Way too much of a beating, we have to take replenishment after this one. Ah. Oh. Regretting some of the decisions I made. Forgetting, like, leaving the, um... Leaving those cavalry against those spears was a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Alright, I'll speed it up here. Should be able to finish off all of their generals, which will be quite helpful, I think. And this army should basically collapse. Yeah, you're good. Chasing after. Oh my god, the cavalry over there. <laughs> Just stop. I can't see a unit get tortured like that. <laughs> What's this? One. That's 74 up there. Seven over here. You know what? Let's pull you back. Go ahead and do that. And you up there as well. Because that's how many? Seven. As long as we... I want to cut these guys off. 74 is still a sizable number. There we go. Cut them down to size. Excellent. Alright. Done. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably the battle. Oh no, 103, 1. That's not good. And is this guy really getting away? Are you kidding me? Nothing we can do about that. And we stop you, though. Oh, the water's slowing us down so much. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Alright, in we go. 103 of them. And no more. Was that like 25 last I saw? Can't even keep my mouse on them. Uh, well, they're gone. Alright, I'm going to claim the victory at that. Close victory. Yeah, I was a little messy there. That was not my cleanest cavalry charging, unfortunately. Really not my cleanest cavalry charging. But this army is basically destroyed. And now if we can replenish our army. And if we can move cautiously towards Gongsun Zen, we'll be okay. I love that animation. Wow. Lost a third of our forces. That is not good. Ooh, hello. Okay, Chen Yu Bin. No friends, no rivals. I could just release him and take the money. Um. Or I could employ him. Right, we, we don't have that many characters. Uh, it's just my money right now. It's like, do I really want to spend 125 per turn? I don't have that many champions. So you know what? Maybe it is worth it. Maybe it is worth it. Sure, let's go ahead and employ you. Oh, that's so much money, but no, we need the replenishment. Yep. And they're going to be able to get away, unfortunately. You know what? That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. But it could have been a lot worse. At least we're replenishing up over here, because we are in a... Uh, not an alliance. What's the word I'm looking for? Coalition. So at least we're replenishing up here as well. Excuse me. Just trying to click on my own army here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Want to make sure we're in the right stance. Replenishing. That's fine. Um. Oh god. Seven turns until fully replenished. That's terrible. That's terrible. And then down over here, Kong Rong first has to free himself from the grip of this rebellion, which shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, this we can delegate. Well, let's keep it a day battle, then we'll have the reinforcements. Delegate that. This shouldn't be too bad. I hope. Worse than it should have been, maybe, but... Holy crap, how did this entire army get wiped out? God damn it. Uh, we'll go ahead and take... Uh, we'll go ahead and take the replenishment, sure. I'm feeling okay about our financial situation. Alright, and now... Yeah, do I make my way towards Runan? Do it. I'm not going to rush because I do want the replenishment. 
as little as it might be, it'll make a big enough difference. The Runan and then the small city of Runan as well. And then down over here, uh, Lu Su is making his way up towards the livestock farm at Jiangling. Go ahead and threaten that, and maybe they'll be forced to come up towards us. They've got a little army over there, but that's not enough to keep them alive. Uh, now, we did get a lot of money, so I'm wondering if we upgrade something here to give us some cash. Uh, what I could do is... Can I actually rush anything out? Could rush this out. 3,600. Reduce corruption across the board. Sure, you know what? Let's do that. I think that's going to make us a lot of money. 941 right now if I rush this construction. Look at that. 400 more. Huge. All because of this corruption that's going on. And the next step here is even more corruption reduction. And I can get that as soon as I have 4350. That'll be a little while. <laughs> That'll be a little while. That's good. I wonder if... Nope. Can't, can't do that just yet. Man. I'm giving 2,600 away. 2,600 away every turn. For how long, though? Not for very long. I believe those, uh... Well... I say that, but I think they still have like nine turns left, eight turns left on these agreements. That's fine. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Uh, so have I done everything? Kong Rong has made his move. Uh, Lu Su has made his moves. Uh, Deng Jiang. Ma Dai. Okay, it's just up over here. Gong Sun Zen is going to make his moves, and uh, we might have to pay a pretty hefty price for that. So let's go ahead and hit the end turn button, see what happens. See what happens. And they come. Oh, alone. Close defeat predicts the game. Close defeat I think I can turn that around. I think I can turn that around with what I've got. Only one way to find out. Right. Alright, this is gonna be a hefty one. Oh, well, they're pretty clumped up, actually, which is interesting. We've got this little offshoot over here. Okay, okay, fair enough. We do have a fairly large army. Well, large is not the right word, maybe. We have a we have an army. <laughs> we have a force. On this side over here, lots of cavalry. We've got some G militia and then some crossbows and archer militia. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Lots of cavalry, though. So let's go ahead and get our spear warriors. And as always, I'm going to nudge them forward through the... Or I'm going to keep them back, and then I'm going to nudge them forward through the towers afterwards. Go ahead and get these spears over here for, for those cavalry units. Mm. Okay. So your spear warriors... Up over here, of course, we have some cavalry as well. well. This is a messy deployment. What the hell? Go ahead and get the militia back here. Like so. If we can make quick work on the on the left. If we can make quick work over here and then pull back to reinforce, that would be good, I think. I think that's what I should aim for, basically. Now, lots of spears over here. No, Okay, they've got swords as well. Over here, all they have is spears, so you know what. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get some Dan sword guard over here as well. And then the rest of you will stay back over here, and we'll send you where we need to send you when we need to send you there. Our cavalry is probably going to loop out of here. Decent amount of cavalry we have, right? They're going to loop out from here and get rear charges. I'm thinking that, or they loop out from here and get rear charges here. Either works. You know what? I, I think what I could do is I could put them here, and that way we have easy access to both sides. That's probably the best call. So we'll do that. This cav kind of scares me, I'm not going to lie. Kind of scares me. Now our archers, quite a few of whom are at full strength. What do we do with you? We set a bunch up over here. Oh, you know what? They've got the repeating crossbows. Let's go ahead and go like so. And we'll pull you up here, and then you guys can fit nicely, hopefully, over here. Nicely is maybe not the word I should use, <laughs> but they can fit here. All right, and they can fire at the enemy as they come through, hopefully. And over here, the rest of you. And we're going to flip that around. There's a stronger armies over here. 
We lot over here. Ready to fire away. The cavalry doesn't try anything too cheeky. And then you guys will be over here. Be back here. There we go. Cool. That should be good. That should be good. We should be able to hold that. Let's get you up over here. If need be, he can pull through and, and start pulling some charges off if necessary. All right, let's make sure you guys are not in skirmish mode. You guys as well, not in skirmish mode. Guard mode on, please, for both of you. All right. I think, uh, I think we're ready to go. If I can hold this, that will make a very big difference. Make a very big difference. I feel like these guys should be a little bit further up ahead. Even just that makes such a big difference, you know what I mean? Alright, try it. Try it. Here goes everything. We'll fire on the Archer Militia as soon as they get within range over here. There we go. Up over here. Be able to fire away, yep. You as well, fire away. Focus and try to scare one unit off. Okay, loose formations of course. I'm ready to pull out. Over here already? No, maybe we should wait. Okay, almost ready to fire. Go ahead and fire at the Archer Militia. You really have to move forward. Yeah, there we go, we're firing away. Go ahead and pull you through. Okay, time to move up. Far away. You're trying to take out their uh, man structure there. Let's pull you guys back over here. And we're firing away. You guys back. Firing up over here instead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Firing back over here. I want to make sure the spears actually get their use. The cavalry should. Yeah, there we go. You over here. You out. You up this way. You up this way as well. You guys firing at their uh, champions, perhaps. All right. Feeling okay. These towers are okay. That's them, isn't it? Yep. All right, we should be able to scare that off pretty easily, I think. Hold the line. Absorb that charge. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Got a good hit in there, I think. Yep. Pull back, send you up there. Send you through. Get you out of there. Go, pull you up this way. Keep you on there. Holding the line over here well enough. Coming through. Put you guys back. And you up this way. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Starting to give up. Pull you back. Pull you up there, pull you up there. No, pull you back actually. Going for the rear charges here. Pull you out of there. Your charge over there, pull you up here, pull you down here. How are you doing over here? They've been scared off, they have been. Okay, excellent. Holding the line over here, fire back there. Okay, good stuff. Pull you away. You're having a good time over there? No, let's pull you down here for a charge. Pull you out of there. Of course, the enemy run, they are craven. What do you expect? Got a rear charge here, these guys are falling back. All right, this should break this area. I think not. Nah. Let's go. You in here. You in here. Get you in here. Our archers need to start firing. Need to keep firing, rather. Fire over there. You guys are firing over here. Okay, good stuff. Okay. 
You guys are going to start giving up on the fight completely. Excellent. There it is. There's the victory. We've held the line. We have held the line. We will now kill your generals. Even attempting this foolish attack. We can't get a good set of shots up there. There we go. 23 goes down to what? Ah, okay. Not the best. Not the best. But go on. Give chase. Are we here instead? These guys are not going to be able to get away. Over here. Unfortunately, we're not able to keep firing. Well, we did a fair bit of damage. We did a fair bit of damage. Men have no ammunition. Oh, no. Gotta give chase. Surely we can close these gaps. Surely we can close these gaps. Down here. Alright, gonna speed things up, I think. No need to keep watching. These slow deaths. Fire up here. Let's get you firing up here. I can't believe we're not gonna catch him. He's right there. Come on. You know you want to. Same goes for all of these. Come on. Mounted Saber Militia there. They don't concern me. Alright. Alright. I, I guess we should just call it here. This army's taking enough of a beating. Yeah, let's call it here. Heroic victory. Beautiful. I love I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. Look at that. They've got like 347 left. Basically wiped them out. Feeling like I've got the upper hand here now. Well, not the upper hand. I shouldn't say that. I'm feeling like I didn't get kneecapped is what I should say. That was only five minutes. It felt like a lifetime. Okay, lost 807. That's not too bad. Gained a lot of money. Excellent. Uh, gain an ancillary. Ooh, hello, Liang Xian. You are a rival of Yang Xiu. Okay. Could release you for a fair sum of money. That's not bad, a military Tian. Ah, uh, you know what? He's selfless. He's elusive. Apparently not elusive enough. Oh, he'd make a good administrator, maybe. You know what? We'll employ him. Turning things around here. Now, do we take the replenishment? I do think it'd be a good idea. Or I could take the money. Take the replenishment. We need to recover. And this army is coming through to Bohai's city. Okay, fair enough. Yan Xu, what are you up to? Gotta make some powerful moves, man. Oh, hello. Okay, this isn't good. We're not likely to win this one. I could still fight it, but you know what? This is probably a pointless battle. They'll come in from three sides. They'll outnumber us. We'll delegate this one. A small loss in the grand scheme of things. A small loss. Probably could have caused some more damage there, but it's okay. So the trade port at Tangxia has fallen. And this massive army is there. I'd like to cut them off if possible. And Kongrong and Lu Su are both right there. So is it really that much of a loss? It's a temporary loss at best. Who died? No. How, how did you die? I keep you out of battle all the time. How did that happen? Did I even send him into that combat in that battle? Or was it just old age, perhaps? Well, oh man, don't tell me he was old. I guess we'll replace him with, uh, this isn't good. Guan Qiu, Guan Qiu Jun. And the reason why this isn't good is because he's level 3. I need a level 4. Damn, dude, what? What happened? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Lucky shot at the walls of the large city at Bohai. Fate is fickle and luck is off the deciding factor. Hold on a second. That's not good. We've lost walls. Death by natural causes. Zheng Sui. He was 72. This general has died of natural causes despite my best efforts to keep him alive. Regardless of whether they achieved great things in their time or frittered away the years on triv uh, trivialities, they were fortunate to have been granted a full lifetime to do with as they wished. He's been around for a very long time. There's only... Only a matter of time, wasn't it? This is not good. 
this army, I'm very tempted to send them out to attack, but I don't think we have night battles, do we? Remember the symbol that enables light night battles. Oh, it, okay, we do have night battles. So I could go out and eliminate this army. And then perhaps come here to assist this situation. The garrison here is small. We do have walls and stuff, but a lucky shot has already destroyed that. So that's not good. A down over here. This army of ours can rush northwards, but it'll take some time to get there. Alright, okay, here's what we're going to do. Um... Zanzian, how long will it take you to get here? Two turns. Down here, two turns. Okay, so up here we go. Spoken prod first. Just in case there's a giant army waiting for us there. There is not. Okay. Oh, let's move. Um, over here, Ang Ping. This should not be a problem. Yeah, we'll go ahead and delegate that. Nice and easy. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the replenishment because there is an army barreling down towards us. How are we losing so much money? Death by natural causes, yeah. Actually, kind of weird. Yu Jiang, you're a small town. We give him tax exemption here, no big problem. Alright, let's see. We were probably not... Uh, Taxing everything we can tax. Oh, you know what it is. It's the uh, corruption reduction. Go ahead and tax you. Hang on, you don't make me money. Yu Jiang, I just canceled your taxes. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I need to send Lady Wu back to Tangsha. That's the problem. Lady Wu, counteract corruption, because look at that reduction. Holy crap. We have two people that can counteract corruption now, actually. Well, that's good. That is good. All right, let's go ahead and send Lady Wu, though. Contract Corruption, assign you here. Take a turn, unfortunately, but at least we've made enough money by taxing that one place. Take a turn. Okay. And yeah, there's some stuff that, uh... That needs handling, folks. Spy events, what's going on over here? Buddy's still just moving around. Still just moving around. Still just building up his, uh... His uh, network, I suppose. All right, okay. So I'm not too worried about the money. That was a, it was a one-turn thing. Fine, fair enough. Scared the crap out of me for a moment, though. Okay, so up over here, Anping, we've defended. Over here, I think we do have to sally forth. It's unfortunate we'll lose out on this replenishment, but two armies, even with this one being as weak as it is, uh, that worries me. I could alternatively use this army offensively, but no, I don't think that's a good call. I don't think that's a good call. Never, he says to peace. What about Zhang Yan? Now that you've taken a bit of a beating. Maybe if I you know, actually select him. Okay, yeah, yeah. He'll accept peace. He'll just want some stuff back. No, you're not getting extra back, buddy. Come on. Come on. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Alright. The war continues. From here, we... Yeah, I think we move forward. Tiny garrison. Oh. We lose the bump to the army, but it's okay. L decisive victory. Low predicted casualties. Don't think I trust the AI to keep it as low as it should be. Do I? Say we do. Ah. No, I'm going to fight this one. All right, unfortunately, our enemies have some tree cover. <laughs> unfortunately. I'm going to have to go charging through that tree cover. Okay, need to be very careful here. It's a small... This is, this is like a starting army. I feel... naked. <laughs> At least we have fire available to us. So we can set the trees alight. This is uh, what moves forward. Oops, there we go. Could shift these guys over here, move them in through the gap in the trees. Let's try that. 
go. We shifted there. You guys are friends, so that's good and helpful. This isn't a very big army either. Oh, they are moving towards me. Fair enough. Move you up to there. Blow you down. And again, we've got the, the high ground, so they'll have to charge up to us and stuff. We should be fine here. Once we set the, the trees alight, then we'll cause morale damage as well. This is hardly an ambush. Come on, folks. <laughs> Stop overreacting. Another cavalry is coming through. We don't have any spears in this army. Hey, here they come. And fire away. We need to scare them off before they're able to uh, charge us. I think we'll manage that just fine. Problem is, if they charge us, we start uh, taking a lot of damage, because again, we don't have spears. <laughs> Let's be a bit more careful with how we're shooting, please. Literally not get ahead of ourselves. Setting a light our own trees. Okay, fire away, fire away, scare them off. And you went over here. Go. Go, yeah, they're starting to give up. Pull back. Are over here instead. Here they come. We should be fine. These guys shouldn't stick around for too long. Pulling back over here. Pull up this way. There we go. Running away. Yes, I would like to fire over here, please. There we go. Pull you down over here. Turn you around. Turn you around real quick. Pull you up to here. Alright, we're gonna get a nice charge there. This guy is dying, it looks like. Keep pulling you away. Got some good charges here. Pull you back. And push you through. Archers are able to fire on their champion. Yep. Pull you up this way. Send you up here. Turn you around. And this army doesn't really stand much of a chance. No, they're standing still. To be able to see my shots a little bit. Wanted to make sure they were coming through. Guy is really staying on top of us here. Pulling back. Push you through. Need to keep my own generals alive here. Okay, pull back. Going for some charges here, I suppose. Be down this way. There we go. Move you in here. Be firing. Can't even tell if we're shooting or not. And we come from multiple directions. Yeah, he's going to give up soon. Oh yeah, there come the shots. Okay, these guys are destroyed. This guy's fleeing. These guys, yeah, okay, that's got to be the win, right? That's got to be the win. Okay, victory. Go ahead and ride some of these things down. Beat it up just a little bit. And I don't, I don't know if I trusted the AI to take care of this. I didn't do the best job of it, but... At least now I can take the blame onto myself rather than feel like I could have done a better job. Decisive victory it is, though, as it should be. We lost, what, 8, 9, 10, 24? 24 people? Oh, no, 24, 31, 30, 33 people, I think. Not too bad, unless there was some friendly fire. Nicely done. Yeah, I guess there was some friendly fire. <laughs> dead and dead. Uh, we'll take the replenishment. And I wonder if... Can't set up an ambush over here. 45% chance of success. See, like, I wouldn't mind assisting 
the city of Bohai if it needs it, if they actually attack us, because they've got the walls damaged a little bit, right? I don't think I've actually fought a siege defense in this game yet. Like in uh, in this campaign. This army is tiny. Now this isn't that much of a bigger army either, but every little bit of help counts, right? Every little bit of help counts. We give you a morale buff for one commanding. Extra cunning for the extra ammunition. Set these guys up for success before I throw them in. Or I just throw them in. Best way to put it. The only way I can think to put it. Definitely some better equipment options available. Uh, expertise. No, okay, this is fine. Alright, um... You have still leveled up. What should we give you? Better resolve, redeployment cost, replenishment. Oh, the replenishment. Only when commanding, though. You have two points. What have I been doing? Charge bonus for the retinue. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Definitely go with fury. And then we could also go with mobility. So running faster. We're getting to from point A to point B faster. And that'll get us to intensity soon. Yep. Apply that. Happy with that. And let's get ready to assist, I suppose. They do not have a strategist, so I don't think they'll be able to use night battles. Double checking here. Oops. The other option I have is to try and bait them to attacking my, uh, my loose army and then retreating. But I don't think they're going to do that. They've already got... Uh, the siege going on rather well. And I can't attack this turn. So all I can do is is reinforce. Just wondering if I want to come in from behind instead. Let's do that. And I should be able to get reinforcements, yes. Close defeat the game predicts. Close to feet. That's on an open field. Okay. Okay. Cancel that. I'm 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 feeling okay about that. Again, if we lose this, it'll suck. But we will have caused a lot of damage at the very least. Gungsun Zen, come on, man. Still not even thinking about it, eh? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Down over here, Ma Dai. Wondering, do we go up here towards this iron mine? I think we should get the iron mine and then move in through Da Tinghui's land. Rather than go diagonally across, right? Try to apply some pressure over here. Sure, let's try that. Um, and I'm wondering... There go. Creep up for now. Or do we force march? Ah, let's creep up. Let's get the replenishment. This attack happens next turn. This attack hopefully happens in two, maybe three turns. This is going to happen next turn. This is going to be interesting. Down south, meanwhile, this is a bit of a bummer, but we can at least take this livestock farm. Where could you be going next? Where's the regional city? Where's the iron mine? The iron mine I should be able to hold, actually. Yeah. Pretty sure this army's kind of... Actually, we don't have any... That's weird, we don't have any archers here, what? Okay, fair enough. Well, we're right here. Let's go ahead and take this livestock farm. And then perhaps... Later we can chase after Saimao. It's a little annoying. But it's fine. Not the end of the world. Uh, make it a night battle. Still medium predicted casualties. I don't like that. We do have a trebuchet in this army, so... I think we're gonna fight it. Because I can't take too many casualties right now. Just... Unacceptable. Alright. Do this. Wait a second. This is an open field battle. Should have checked that first. Oh, this will be even easier. Great. We've got some trees-ish over here. Don't want to get my shots blocked. Uh, let's go ahead and lay out on this side, perhaps. Pull everything back. Let's go ahead and get our spears up over here. Like so. God, this is a good army. This is a good army. For swords like so. Axes and axes. Let's get our trebuchet over here. Right, let's 
go ahead and get our cavalry set up to this side over here. Could use some more cavalry, perhaps. And there's our archers, of course. You know what? I could put these guys over here instead. And like so. And then our archers, our crossbowmen rather, I should say, can be over here. Again, the tree's not the best spot for them. But that's not too dense tree cover or anything. Let's get you guys back over here, actually. Just in case the enemy gets too close, we're able to uh, push into them. Alright, excellent. Can't wait to get our cavalry vanguard deployment. Okay, feels comfy. Did you guys set up right? Let's begin. Let's begin. Nice big clumps to fire into over here. Hopefully we'll be clearing this mound. Ah, shouldn't be a problem. Should not be a problem. It's actually quite a big garrison. All right, here it comes. All right, the mound is causing a touch of trouble right now, but they're going to end up over top of it in no time. There we go. Let's get those beautiful shots. Of these beautiful shots. Nice. You hear their screams. Didn't have to be this way. Didn't have to be this way. More shots in here. There we go. A couple of them are already breaking, I think. Didn't change our targets. Fire right, over here. Get rid of some of the higher tier units, maybe. And our crossbows are able to fire. Focus on the G infantry there. Move all of you up ever so slightly. Okay, good stuff. Turn around and fire over here instead. Our men are spotted. You don't say. Oh, don't do this. Don't do that. Pull back. Okay, let's move up. Very nice. Turn around fire over there. Let's get one of you firing over here. Where are these guys, please? Let's go, let's go. Fire over here instead. Pull you two back up. And you through here. Pull one of you up this way. Fire over here. Holding the line. You guys, turn you around to fire over there. Let's go. Let's go, charge. Can we come? It hits, I think. It feels like it. Definitely feels like it. Pull you back. Get you back over here. Get you back over here. Let's pull out. Back in here. Cause these guys some trouble. A little bit of friendly fire there. Fire up there instead. Yeah, these guys are being completely demolished. Beautiful. And then we'll get some rear chargers over here. Again, these crossbows just deciding to get involved in melee. And you down here. There we go. Rear charge. I'm not going to like that. Be back real quick. These guys are good up there. Get you to get another rear charge over here with your immense charge bonuses. No need. No need. What is this again? A settlement battle? So we don't need to keep fighting. Take the victory decisive it is. That was like a, what, a four minute battle? Three minute battle. Not even four. Barely lost anything. We got a couple of kills. Oh, these archers got a fair number of kills actually. Those crossbows as well. I think they, they took the bulk of the damage from those archers. But hey, it's fine. Only lost 360. Uh, I think we're just going to occupy it. There's going to be a rebellion here soon. Which is unfortunate, but that's life. There's the army. 
Too bad I can't reach it. Could exempt you from taxes, make you a little bit happier so we're not dealing with nonsense down over here for the next little bit. Still making enough money. Well, still have enough money, I should say, to, uh, to shield us from trouble. This army won't take very long to replenish. And then we can move it down towards Tsai Mao, who's dancing around in our territory. Hong Rong, meanwhile, can hit the Iron Mine of Runan, I think, this turn. So I take a peek first. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. All right. Well, this will be interesting, actually, because we want to fight Hu Rong, I think. Hu Rong? You wrong, man. That's who's wrong. I'm the right wrong. You're the wrong wrong. But we'll, we'll do that next time, because then we'll, we'll draw this army out as reinforcements. We won't make it a night battle. And uh, we should be able to devastate both of these armies and make some serious progress. That actually feels pretty good. Uh, up north, meanwhile, again, still a little nervous about Bohai. But even if we do lose it, we will take it back soon enough. We've got these two large armies sweeping northwards. I feel fairly confident about that. Uh, we'll see how all that plays out. And again, the financial situation is just because of corruption. As soon as Lady Wu gets down at Tangsha again, uh, we will be more than okay. Because again, that's all that's hurting us. That's all that's hurting us. Man, 50% is going to make a huge difference. Can't wait. Anyway, this is, as you can probably tell, where we're going to call it a session, though. I hope you enjoyed it. We've gone over that hour mark ever so slightly. But uh, yeah, I hope it was a good session for you guys because I certainly enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know that you want to see this continue onwards. A massive thanks, as always, goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.